Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a daily vlog today. As voted on Instagram, I did a poll whether you guys would like a daily vlog or a vegan food, try and vegan food. I am going to still do that. I'm going to rope my bestie in to do that, so we'll do that shortly. Um, I've just got to my family's house. I'm going to pop in and see those guys for a bit. And then I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but we'll have to wait and see. So I've not long got home. Um, we are just, um, by we, I mean me and my boyfriend, are just about to start watching the fourth episode of The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. If none of you have watched it, I would highly recommend it. However, it is quite sad. It's basically about a boy who gets murdered by his mum and his mum's boyfriend. It's on Netflix. I think it's six parts. We've watched three episodes. Well, I have because Jason fell asleep yesterday whilst I was watching it. So I've watched three episodes. It's very good. So we're going to carry on watching that. Sorry, my arm's starting to hurt. Um, and then rest of the day, I need to do some household bits. I need to put the washing away, etc, etc. And then this evening, I am going out for dinner with one of my friends. So I'll probably vlog the food, but I won't actually vlog us. Because one, I'm not very confident at vlogging in general, let alone in public. And two, I doubt my friend would want to be on the camera anyway. So I'll vlog my food, I expect, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Also, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to still do the trying vegan food. But I'm going to do it with my best friend Georgie. We're going to do fast food. So if anyone's got any recommendations of where has the best fast food vegan food if you can let me know down below and then we're thinking about burger king i'm not sure if kfc do anything i know mcdonald's do so hopefully that'll be coming soon we're looking to film that next week but yeah if anyone's got any recommendations of any fast food vegan food leave it down below Hey guys, as you can probably tell, it's actually the following day now. I didn't actually vlog very much yesterday, so I thought I'd make it into a weekend vlog instead. Today we are going to Ikea, um, so I will vlog that. I am just finishing off my makeup, so I thought I would vlog that, I guess. I don't really do a lot, and to be fair, if Georgie is watching, she will probably go mad because she is a makeup artist. And I don't exactly do my makeup very professionally. I have already put foundation on. Um, so I'm just putting powder on because I get quite oily skin. I don't really put much on to be fair. I just put a bit of bronzer on my face. I'm not very good at makeup. I just kind of guess what to, what to do, where to put it. <coughs> And then just hope for the best, really. I am after a new foundation because I have always, always, sorry, I keep, there's a mirror behind you, so I'm looking in that. Um, I've always used, or for a very long time anyway, I've used the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. It's very, it's very dirty. There you go. This. But they don't actually sell it in shops anymore, so I have to order it off of Amazon, which is a bit of a faff, if I'm honest. And I'm getting to the stage now where I always used to love how I had really matte skin, because I've got quite oily skin naturally. So I was always buying foundations like that one that make my skin... I am going to blend this out so I don't look so crazy, but um, I was always buying foundations that made my skin look quite matte. But I think now I want something that makes me look a, not too dewy because I've got oily skin. So I don't want to look like I've got oily skin, if that makes sense. I just want to look a bit dewy. So anyone's gotten any rec any recommendations? I have. I was looking the other day at the what was it? Oh, the Revolution, I'm not quite sure what it was called, but they had a foundation that I was looking at the other day, but I wasn't quite sure, like, I haven't really seen anybody speak about it, so I wasn't sure what it was like, or 
anything like that. So if anyone's got any recommendations, I did go through a stage of using the Estee Lauder double wear and I also used to use the double wear camouflage because I've got a birthmark on my face that I really don't like particularly. So I like to cover, cover that. So I will always go for a full coverage makeup. Um, full coverage foundation, sorry. So, if, uh, yeah, anyone's got any recommendations as to what foundations are full coverage? Not too matte. I do use the, like I said, I use the Stay Matte powder as well. Um, so nothing too matte. But yeah, if anyone's got any recommendations, that would be lovely. Yes, yeah, so we're going to Ikea today. Um, Georgie wants to go to Ikea, so we are going to go with her, hopefully have some meatballs, main reason that people go to Ikea. Fun fact, I actually only tried them a little while ago, I'd never tried them before that. I'd never eaten in the Ikea cafe. Um, but now I really do like meatballs. I'm quite excited for that and I'm sure I will end up buying something that I really don't need so hopefully I don't but I'm sure I probably will I'm just brushing through my eyelashes because I have eyelash extensions I haven't done anything to my brows because Georgie microbladed them um last week or start this week so I don't need to do anything to them I sound like Georgie's biggest fan here <laughs> Um, I'm just, my hair is kind of wavy, but I want to make it a bit more curly. So I'm just going to oh, curl it. I use, I'm not quite sure what this is. I've had it for about, probably about 10 years. It's a Remington curler. It's just a wand. It's quite good. So I just wrap my hair around and then I will brush it out afterwards. So, yeah, I don't really want really tight curls, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then, like I say, afterwards, I will brush it out to make it look a bit more natural. So I will probably catch up with you now when I get in the car. Um, yeah, we'll catch up then. Today's outfit of the day, and I've got my biker boots on. Well. So, just picked up Georgie. Hello! <laughs> and we're off to Ikea now. Have you got anything in mind you want to get? Yeah, I've got a list on my phone. Okay. Do you want me to read it to you? Yeah, you go on then. Read it <laughs> to me. Actually, I can memorise it. Go on then. So, I want to get a lamp mm -hmm. and I want to get some hanging fake ivy and meatballs. Okay, sounds good. And some shelves. Jason is all also here. He is sat here, just doesn't want to be on camera. Just an FYI. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my car. Come on in. Just here lounging around. So we have finished eating our meatballs. As you just saw, Georgie has just modelled one of the rooms. And now we're going to look around like here. I'll let you know what we've got. So Katie is currently arranging me some lovely flowers. Look what we got, guys. Look at these, some nice little ratatantans. Look at these. Look at these. I have just finished arranging these, although she has now told me she doesn't like the stones. Ah. What are your guys' opinions? Do you like the stones? Do you not like the stones? And I've tried my best arranging them. But...
lamp completed. Right, we're home now. Um, I don't think we're going to do much for the rest of the day. We might just go for a walk. So I'm going to end this vlog here and I'll catch up with you guys soon. If you could give this video a like and also subscribe down below. My Instagram is also in the info box below. So if you could go and give that a follow and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.